say. How's that look? Good? Realize that, you know, fuck this. I just destroyed my shit, like right here. So yeah, I do. Hurt myself a million times skateboarding. This was pretty different. Do you still love skateboarding? Hell yeah, skateboarding fucking rules. I love every second of it. Sean's style and ability to just make anything on a skateboard look easy and his just genuine love for skateboarding are something I think that will live with him forever and he'll just bring that into whatever else he does. This particular skate trip was uh, to Miami, Florida, obviously. Trying to go explore, skate everything I fucking see. I started skating this one spot, it's a couple stairs, probably seven stairs. Kind of a famous spot that we had all seen in a million skate videos growing up. Get a little too excited, tr trying a couple things that were a little out of my range. The, the board, skateboard was just flipping underneath my feet as I'm coming down the stairs. Landed with pretty much all my body weight on one leg, and then the knee kind of just caved in on itself a little bit and almost felt like it just snapped backwards. I had to have two of my friends carry me into the car I started seeing my knee just swell more and more and more. And once I could see the veins kind of pulsing through the top of the kneecap, I realized that it was pretty bad. Going back was just really depressing. You know, I knew I obviously had to go to a doctor and get this thing figured out, kind of investigate it a little further, because it was pretty obvious that something somewhere in my knee was just destroyed. A couple x-rays, which they were like, everything looks okay. I think you need more of like an MRI. And then finally have the doctor re review the MRI and everything. And you could see there's this, this gnarly glow kind of around, around my bones. I was like, first of all, I, I just want to tell you that, you know, this glow in your bones there is like pretty serious bone bruising, which I guess was from like impact just punching together. And then he, he told me that my ACL is pretty torn up and uh, an MCL that kind of runs alongside of the knee. 
was just, he's like, yeah, that, that one's gone. That one's pretty much destroyed. So, you know, whatever my insurance situation was, which was not there, I didn't really have insurance at all. Um, he told me that I can go under charity care. If you can get the charity care figured out, I'll, I'll do the surgery for you, like, no problem. I fucking can't stand paperwork, anything like that. Super overwhelming. Start getting in the process of dealing with charity care, phone calls back and forth, just leading to nowhere, fucking circles of talking to people, calling people, you know, slowly, slowly gets better. I can finally almost walk a little bit. As soon as I started walking a little, a little bit, you know, I was, I was getting in the mode of like, all right, cool, this, you know, fuck, fuck surgery, what, who cares? Whatever, I've gotten plenty of other things broken and whatever. It's really not cool at all. <laughs> so I cannot really skate anymore. I try not to. Every, uh, every high school middle school notebook I ever had was never actually notes from the class, just weird little fucking doodles turned into like monsters or creatures. And I picked up a new sketchbook almost immediately after I got hurt. Just started Googling like fucking this type of tattoo, like this traditional type of tattoo. Everything I drew more and more was kind of based off of, you know, older tattoo designs, kind of simple and easier to like redraw. You know, I realized that I wanted way more tattoos and didn't really have money. Kind of wanted to get equipment. It was kind of in the back of my head, like, tattoos are fucking rad, like, maybe maybe that's something I can get into. You know, I didn't really know where I was at and what, what I wanted to do in life. Wasn't gonna go to college or any school scenario like that, so. Whatever, I could probably fucking figure it out. You know, it's like, it was like anything, like just trying trying a couple skateboard tricks over and over and pushing it. I just kind of had that mentality about it. I was like, all right, I need to draw this and then draw it again and draw it better. And how can I get it to look like a clean tattoo? And uh, that was pretty much like what's, what started it. What the fuck do I have to do to make, make myself get to this point? Like I need to get in a tattoo shop somewhere I gave myself, you know, that this one tattoo came out shitty, but I was still super fascinated by like how fucking cool it was, the whole process. It was almost like doing a painting, but you're taking just blank skin, going through the steps of getting a stencil on there, you know, setting up the machines, kind of like tinkering with, with a skateboard and kind of saying that if you don't go home and do your homework and work on that art stuff that you know, how the fuck are you gonna progress? And you take certain parts from different types of painting and slowly incorporate them into certain styles of tattooing, you know? It's pretty exhausting mental workout, constantly doing all that custom shit. Like, you know, my body's already taken the physical abuse and I still feel that every day. Now it's just, now my brain's just getting a little abused with uh, trying to put out nice fucking things and stand out from, you know, the average dude and just, just trying to keep pushing, so. It's kind of tied into that same mentality of, you know, with skateboarding and pushing and trying to get better and trying to get better. It's, it's been almost five years now. And I remember saving every stencil I did. I work five days a week and I have sometimes work on my days off. And I'll have two appointments a day, one appointment a day, 
sometimes three tattoos a day. One time I did this benefit, I did 13 tattoos that day, you know, smaller ones. It, it's somewhere between like a thousand, two thousand tattoos so far, maybe. People in here have a lot of stuff on their walls, but seeing actual skulls in, in person and it's just super interesting to me and it's a lot of shit that you don't really you don't really see on a normal basis like most most normal people I guess you could say don't really have an interest in that but it, it kind of helps me like have a little bit of a different creative outlook on certain stuff it, it really kind of expands my mind on a bunch of stuff so I'm just super lucky to, you know, have ended up here because that I've definitely learned a lot. Like, this, this shop's awesome. Um, where I work at is a Trademan's Tattoo right now. Guy Tommy runs it. He, uh, has been tattooing for, I think, 18 years or something. It's, that dude definitely taught me, like, you know, basically a lot, most of everything I know kind of sent me in a good direction. It's kind of right up my alley with, I never did well in school or anything like that. So it's a lot more free. Everyone kind of bounces off of each other. It's really awesome, you know, kind of draw together. Like, hey man, what do you think of this? You know, oh, it's awesome. You know, maybe you should change this part of that or whatever, everyone bounces off each other. It just feels way more comfortable having, you know, it's almost like a million windows, you know, different interesting stuff going on. You know, it would never be where I'm at as an artist, maybe not even into tattooing if, if I didn't fucking skateboard for that many years. And I, I love seeing other people skateboard. It, it kind of bums me out because I'm like, God damn it, like I just want to fucking, I just want to do that again, you know? Fuck yeah, dude, these guys are killing it. Like, I'm so jealous, but I, I love every second of it. I don't think that I'll ever stop looking at a, a bump off of a curb over a hydrant and not think of 10 tricks that people should do on it, you know? Pretty much, yeah, skateboarding's awesome. I wait until you change your